Hello everybody and welcome back to Jeremiah who has just separated from the engines and he's gonna be um, spinning out of control really um, can he do any traction control? yes he can and he can lock retrograde and then we can turn it off so we save the battery because we don't have any solar panels or anything now luckily we didn't end up um, too far off um, yeah so we're getting a thing that we can do an EVA report okay we can keep that data and we can board quickly okay so yeah okay another one okay so we can do a crew report mm, nope can the EVA report we can store experiments and board okay so we're gonna get two EVA reports at least out of this three is that even possible? Um, okay. Keep data. Store. Board. Huh. Okay. So now I think we have to do that. And we need to lock retrograde. And hopefully, we'll slow down enough to uh, not break these parachutes. If not, we'll have to do the old jump out at the last second to save Jeremiah. Because we know how bouncy he is. But this thing, I mean, it's quite big. So, hopefully. It should slow us down quite a lot. Um, okay, all the shoots have been destroyed completely. But it's not a problem. Oh, well, we're going into the water, so yes, it may be a problem. Because we're going to lose all of that um, lovely science that we got. Poor Jeremiah. We're slowing down. We're still slowing down. We'll see. I'll speed up this a bit. Oh, we've got another four thousand three two. I'm still slowing down a bit. See, it's not the most aer aerodynamic of um, of designs, so it may work out that um, keep. Did he survive or did he pass away? Let's see. We can recover him. <laughs> Seems he survived yet again. Um, great. And um, can we see the remains? Or are there no remains? No, the ship was completely destroyed. Okay, I think it's a little bit overpowered. So that's... Let's put those there. Let's take 
those and we'll put them on double and that goes away and those will become two of them which now don't want to don't want to stick on okay it's not the straightest of things but yeah um, okay let's you want to go yeah okay like that that might be a bit better I have to pay more attention so those that can go with those, then those, then that. And you know what? Let's have backups. In case I get spacebar happy. Okay, and Jeremiah. You can have a break, mate. We'll let Valentina do this one. So, let's get our traction control on. Prograde. No! She might be able to save it. Let's get rid of them. Great going. <laughs> so can you imagine if this was a NASA launch? It'd be like, <sighs> okay, there we go. Actually, have enough thrust. Okay, let's um, dump that. <sighs> Again. We're floating down unsuccessful. It should be easy. This should be easy, but I struggle with these things. I really do. I really struggle with these things. And you must be getting so frustrated watching it. But please, leave me tips. I mean, I've seen Quill do it, and I've seen Scott Manley do it looks easy but it's not easy I've seen it so many times but when I try it myself no chance mate not a chance at all is there any science? no science Slow down time. Okay, let's turn this around. Yeah. 
And we're gonna recover that. It's saying EVA report, but I don't know. All right, let's try it one more time. Let's see. So. Did we have enough power? I think it's just because I screwed up. I think we do have enough power. It's just I screwed up the takeoff. And, um. And she was left struggling to control it. Because then once. Once these drop off, this just needs to keep it going. Um, okay, what I could do actually, let's do. Let's do three. Let's do three of those. And we'll give them no scones. And maybe it might help if we put some uh, some fins on this thing. Yeah, it might help. Okay. So let's save and launch it like that. Okay, and we do our traction control. So, let's put the thingy back up. So we're at the speed we want to be at. And we can lose those. We can start tipping slightly. She'll fight me back. Let's actually do that. Our speed is going up slightly, which is okay. Okay, and soon we can power off this engine. Right, so off. And oh, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. But we do have. Um, hmm. Should she? I don't know. Should she? We managed. I don't know if she should. How are we on the map? Oh, we're going to go quite straight down. But as we know, this design slows down a lot without any... Um, so we face retrograde. This slows down a lot. I mean, plummeting straight down is a bit different but we did slow down a lot on its own and we can always let off one uh, parachute that might break but it might slow us that little bit how is our charge? let's turn off that for now we're speeding up I 
she's not going to manage, is she? But we are slowing down, which is pretty good. Okay, we're almost at the safe level. We're also, there we go. Should be safe to get off one. There we go. I think we're good. Good old Valentina. She does seem to be our better test pilot. Not to take anything away from Jeremiah. I mean, twice he has jumped out at the last second and survived. I mean, once he tumbled quite away and he survived. I mean, he's like a human pin cushion, body cushion, or cushion cushion. So I see how this slows us down. We can speed up we we'll get to about a thousand. There we go. Let's see how we slow down now. And then we can put out the others. That's good speed actually. Let's put them out anyway. That was speed up time. That was impressive though. I mean, he took that dive at the last second. He did an EVA report on his way out I mean how's that for a heroic escapade I mean come on you're jumping out for your life and you're like but you know what I'm gonna take my pen and paper and take a note of it while I do it and I'm gonna survive I mean that is that is pure badassery no wonder he has that badge Um, we should splash down any second. There we go. Uh, it's saying again that we have an EVA report to do. We might be in a different piece of piece, a different bit of the water. Um, don't want any of that. We need to roll. Don't seem to be able to roll. I had managed last time. I can't seem to roll this time. But I think it's a duplicate anyway. So I think she did get a little bit of science up there. Because she jumped out and got science and got back in. Look, we're up to 29. That's pretty good. And we've got... We've got a 33, but we've got less than we had before because, you know, yeah. So, okay, so we've got those two fly by. And we've got more test these things. Science data from space around Kerbin. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, transmit or recover scientific from space. Let's accept that. How does this work? Pressure readings. Ah, uh, that's probably those things that are showing up. And flight below. Oh, we can get that and do it with a plane, can't we? Yeah, okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, what's this? Test the launch stability enhancer. TT eighteen. Except, I think that that is the clamp where is it yeah there we go Ooh, which we can do anyway we'll get it's like free money that 
So, how are we for time? I think we're pretty much up for time. I'm afraid. I know, it's been a rough ride. We're not getting much done in another three episodes, but we are getting stuff done. We're getting some more science, bit by bit. And, um... I want to see if we can upgrade our science care. Um, and Bob can do some more farming because I know there's more science to be had so let's just load up this so he had and he had a thermometer I think did he have the thermometer? yes he had a thermometer so what do we have for science? science so now we've got a barometer so we can get barometer from all over and I th think we should put Yeah. Yeah, I know it's not completely straight. So, um, our crew for this is going to be Bob. And he's going to do some more science. But that's going to be next time. So, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you. Leave that like, hit that subscribe, and bye bye.